Hey everyone, so in last lecture, we saw the concept of vector space and we also saw that uh, how R2, the set R2 satisfies all the nine properties of a vector space and hence R2 forms a vector space over real numbers and it do not form a vector space over complex numbers. Okay, and then I gave you a hint how on the similar lines one can prove that R3 forms a vector space, R4 and in general Rn forms a vector space over R. Now today we are going to see another family which forms a vector space, okay, but under some specified operations, okay. I will also show you the same family under different operations do not form a vector space. So the family that we are going to talk about is set of all m cross n matrices over real numbers. That means the entries of the matrix are real numbers, okay. So instead of playing with a general matrix for simplicity, let me first play with all 2 cross 3 matrices okay so that means the collection of all a b c d e f where all this a b c d e f they are what real numbers so you take all 2 by 3 matrices put them in one bucket and this is i am calling m 2 by 3 r now this is a set now i want to see whether this forms a vector space to check whether a set forms a vector space or not, we should have vector addition operation defined on it and the scalar multiplication operation. So if this is my V, I should have vector addition defined and scalar multiplication defined. Then only I can check the properties, right? So I need to define addition. So how should I define the addition of two matrices of this form so that it's this set gets the vector space structure. Okay. Now here, uh, let A and B be two matrices in the set V. So how may A will look like? So let me take the notation A11, A12, A13 and this is A21, A22 and A23. Similarly, my B matrix will be B11, B12, B13, B21, B22, B23. I am defining addition of two matrices as so if I'm taking two matrix, I'm defining the addition as, I'm defining it as A11 plus B11 plus A12 plus B12 plus C13 plus B13. And similarly here, I'm adding all the second row, A21 plus A22 plus A23 plus B21 plus B22 plus B23. So this is how I have defined addition of these two matrices. Okay, now is are the properties of vector space being satisfied before going to scalar operation. If I define addition in this way, will this set have a vector space structure? Answer is no. Why? Because what is the very first property? It should be closed under vector addition. So if I take two vectors from the set, addition should again fall into the same set. Is that happening over here? No, we are taking two matrices of order 2 by 3. But what is the answer? This is one entry. This is one entry. So what is the order of this matrix? Two rows and one column. So the resultant is a matrix, no doubt. But it is not the matrix of order 2 by 3. So if I am taking two matrices from this set, the addition is not falling in the same set. So if someone defines an addition operation like this, and if your teacher asks you, under this operation, this addition operation and whatever the scalar multiplication will be doesn't matter because for addition itself it doesn't satisfy the closure property. Therefore, under this operation, this set do not have a vector space structure because the first property itself gets filled. Okay, so let me define in some another way. Uh, suppose if I define addition as, let me define addition as, let me multiply first entry by 2 and then add it to the the first entry of b similarly this will be 2 a 1 2 plus b 1 2 2 a 1 3 plus b 1 3 so this is how i am defining the addition 2 a 2 1 plus b 2 1 2 a 2 2 plus b 2 2 2 a 2 3 plus b 2 3 okay so now i have taken two matrices of order 2 by 3 what is the addition? You can see that addition is again a matrix of order 2 by 3. So vector addition is well defined. That means I'm taking two vectors from the set. Addition is again of the same form. So under this addition operation, this set is closed. 
okay that means this set is closed under vector addition cool so under this operation first property satisfied now let's go for the second property what is the second property associative property what does it says you add the matrices in any order either you add a plus b then you add c or you add b and c then you add a you should always get the same answer okay so let us start with the left hand side first i am adding a and b what is a plus b it is this entry okay so instead of writing this again completely uh, or okay for simplicity let me write it down so this is my a plus b two times the first entry of a plus the first entry of b then similarly two times the second a 1 2 plus b 1 2 and all the same entries over here okay okay now what is a plus b plus c what is the operation two times the first entry of this what is the first entry of this this so two times the first entry of this plus you add the first entry of this which is c11 what will be the next entry two times this entry 2a12 plus b12 plus c ka entry plus c12 right plus again two times 2a13 plus b13 plus c13 and similarly the second row okay cool so this is my left hand side if you are having doubt pause the video and complete the second row okay and if you get stuck you ask me in the comment section let me go for b plus c first add b and c what does the operation says you do two times the first entry so two times b11 plus c entry c11 two times b12 plus c12 2 times b13 plus c13 and similarly the second row 2 times b21 plus c21 and so on now you add a to this what is a plus b plus c 2 times the first entry of this 2a11 plus this entry which is 2b11 plus c1 right 2 times the first entry of the first matrix and then second entry as it is the first entry of the second matrix as it is that's how we define the addition and now if you check here the first entry is 4a11 plus 2b11 plus c11 whereas here it is no 4 there is nowhere 4 over here so you can see the first entry itself is not same therefore these two matrices are not equal so under this operation the operation how i defined it's closed under vector addition but the associative property does not get satisfied Therefore, under this addition operation as well, whatever will be the scalar operation doesn't matter. But when this is the addition, this set will not have the vector space property or it will not have the vector space structure, not property. Okay, so I have given you two operations on the set of two by three matrices and under both the operation, we were having trouble. Okay, so now let me add in a very standard way. You simply add the component wise okay and this is called as a standard addition operation so what you do is you simply add component wise okay a11 plus b11 a12 plus b12 a13 plus b13 so you simply add component wise we will see that under this operation all the five properties under vector addition gets satisfied okay so let's try to check one by one so first property is clear addition of two two by three matrix is again a two by three matrix Let's go for associativity. So this is my a plus b. So now what will be a plus b plus c? So a plus b first entry and c first entry. So what I have a11 plus b11 plus c first entry c11. What will be this a12 plus b12 plus c12. Okay, so ultimately or simply adding this to ci's. Okay, what will be b plus c? b11 plus c11, b12 simply component wise addition. Okay now you add a to this so what is a plus this so first entry of a plus the first entry of this which is b11 plus c11 then for a you have a12 plus this entry b12 plus c12 similarly a13 plus this entry and you can verify that both the matrices are same therefore under this operation the given set do satisfy the associative property okay what is the third one the third one is the additive identity question is 
what zero vector you will take so that you get the same matrix what should be this well you can easily see the zero vector should be nothing but the zero matrix so if you take your a matrix which is a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 how do you add by definition you are simply adding the component wise you are simply adding the component wise so and what you get a11 plus 0 a12 plus 0 a13 plus 0 a21 plus 0 which is again the matrix a okay so yes zero vector do exist you take any matrix you add this zero vector you again get the same matrix so additive identity do exist okay what what was the fourth property what b matrix you should take so that a plus b is the zero vector well here also is easy you can easily see this is your a matrix what matrix you will add so that you get the zero matrix so it is nothing but the negative right because if this is a11 you take here minus a11 here you take minus a12 minus a13 here you take minus a21 minus a22 and minus a23 so is this a 2 cross 3 matrix yes if i add to a will i get zero yes a11 minus a11 a12 so you call this as your b matrix so question was given a matrix a can you find a matrix b such that the addition is the zero vector answer is yes because once a matrix is given you take b to be what minus of a so addition will always be zero is this commutative that means is a plus b equal to b plus a answer is yes because you are simply adding this your a11 plus b11 is same as b11 plus a11 this is same as b12 plus a12 which is nothing but b plus a so i am not solving this i think you can easily solve this a plus b is here write down b plus a it will be b11 plus a11 b12 plus a12 and so on but they are real numbers real numbers commute right you add in any order you get the same answer 3 plus 2 is same as 2 plus 3 therefore this property is also satisfied therefore under this standard addition your all the five properties of vector space are satisfied now i want to define a scalar multiplication operation so i need to define multiplication so what i am doing i am taking alpha is a real number i am taking a 2 cross 3 matrix and i am defining this to be a zero matrix this is how i am defining the scalar multiplication what is the scalar multiplication operation you take any matrix and you take any number a the product is completely zero matrix is this close under scalar multiplication yes because a is 2 by 3 the product is again a 2 by 3 matrix okay so this is an element of the given set so it is closed under scalar multiplication but if you observe one of the property if you recall from earlier lecture one of the property was 1 into v bar should be v bar will this property will get satisfied answer is no because what is 1 into 1 into 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is a 2 by 3 matrix if i multiply by 1 but 1 is a scalar and how i am defining the multiplication alpha is making all entries of a to be zero so this is on my alpha this on multiplication everything is going zero that's how i am defining okay so since everything is zero so this is not equal to v bar so if i am this is how i am defining the scalar multiplication then the set will not have the vector space structure okay so this is not a good operation we are defining because it is not giving me the vector space structure because this property gets failed so let us define in a nice way so what you do is you multiply each entry of a by alpha so that's how i'm defining the scalar multiplication operation and under this operation one can see that all the properties will get satisfied is the closure property satisfied yes because a is 2 by 3 matrix alpha into a is again a 2 by 3 matrix so this property is satisfied one can check now alpha beta where alpha and beta are real number alpha beta into a so what will be alpha beta into a alpha beta a11 alpha beta a12 alpha beta a13 alpha beta a21 alpha beta a22 alpha beta a23 what will be this side first you do beta into a so everywhere there is beta a11 beta a12 beta a13 beta a21 beta a22 beta a23 now you multiply this by a so what you get alpha into beta a11 alpha into beta a12 alpha into beta a13 which is same as this thing right so even this property is satisfied what is the next distributive what is a plus b a plus b is this matrix 
What is alpha into a plus b? Alpha into this entry plus alpha into this plus alpha into this and so on. But what is alpha into this? It is alpha a11 plus alpha b11, alpha a12 plus alpha b12 and so on. And then you add alpha a and beta b, alpha b and you observe you get the same answer. So therefore under this operation the given set do form a vector space. Okay, and these are called as the standard addition and scalar multiplication operation. Sometimes they will not define this operation. They will say consider m2 by 3 under standard addition and scalar multiplication. That means they are saying these operations. Okay, so that's how whenever an operation is defined, addition or scalar multiplication operation is defined, your job is to check whether all the properties are getting satisfied or not. If they get satisfied, well and good. The given set do have a vector space structure. And if even one property gets failed, the given set do not have the vector space structure. Okay. Now suppose, let me give you a homework problem. Again for the 2 by 3 matrix, let me define A plus B as the same thing. Component wise addition. A11 plus B11. A12 plus B12. A13 plus B13. The same operation. A21 plus B21. Okay, the same addition. And for multiplication, let me only multiply my first entry by alpha. And rest none of the entries I am multiplying by alpha. Only first entry I am multiplying by alpha. So, for addition, since there is no change, so obviously all the five properties for addition get satisfied. For multiplication, multiplication is again a 2 by 3 matrix, so it is closed under this scalar operation. You have to check only three properties. The product, the change of brackets, 1 into V is V and the distributive law. If those three are satisfied for this operation, well and good. For this operation also, the given set of matrices have a vector space structure. Okay. For earlier one and this one, if it is a vector space, both are vector space, but they both will have a different, different structure. Okay. And uh, yeah. So whatever we have done for 2 by 3, it can be done in general for any 2 cross 2, 5 cross 2, 10 cross 10, in general for m cross n. So m cross n do form a vector space over real number under the standard addition and scalar multiplication operation. Okay. Similarly, over C, it do not form a vector space because again, if you take under the standard scalar multiplication, if you take a complex number alpha and take the matrix A, the multiplication will have the entries containing complex numbers. Whereas our set is what? M 2 by 3 of R. That means the entries should be real numbers. So over complex numbers, this set do not form a vector space. So yeah, so this was about the matrices and the vector space. I hope you enjoyed and understood this part. If yes, then do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.